Welcome back, guys. Um, today I thought I'd do a uh, kind of a recap on one of my all-time favorite distributions, uh, and that is Voyager Linux. Now, they are <coughs> coming out with a major update uh, in May uh, based upon the new Ubuntu 16.04, so they'll be incorporating that into their distribution um, but there really is no need to wait for that if you've never tried Voyager Linux uh, do yourself a favor give it a try there are so many uh, unique features about it that um, really you need to take a look at it uh, because I think it is one of the best Ubuntu based distributions now I'm going to pull up the uh, website. Their website is talking about the 1604 coming in May of 2016. Now, beyond that, right now, there are multiple um, distros available from Voyager. The Voyager is a French distribution. So when you install it you'll notice that it looks a little different um, the wallpapers are a little bit different than you might be used to but um, again wallpaper selection is really up to the individual and so you can change that but there are so many unique uh, features about Voyager Linux that as I said uh, you'd be wise just to give it a try now the first flavor on their list is listed as Voyager X2 and Voyager X2 HD. Now Voyager X2 um, has the upgraded kernel 3.19, XFCE 4.12, LibreOffice, um, back, back up your smartphone or tablet. Uh, it's based on 1404.05 they also have a 1404.3 so they they have a, a dual um, distribution you have one with X2 has no KWIN and X2 HD has KWIN 3D so you've got a couple of choices to make there but it does come with the 319 kernel, and that is the key. Now, the long-term support version is still based on 1404.04. .04. It has the 3.13 kernel. <coughs> Excuse me. And XFCE 4.11. No X stack. Um, So you've got the LTS 1404.04 .04 and the 1404.2. So if it were me, um, I would go with the 3.19, the Voyager X2, no K win. Uh, that's my personal preference. Now they also have a Debian version. Well, let's see. They have a. They also have a middle of the road 3.16 kernel, with the newer XFCE. And so you've got basically three choices. You can download the three point, the uh, Ubuntu 14.04.04 with the 3.16 kernel and 4.12 or you can go for the 3.13 kernel 1404.2 or you can go all the way up to the 3.19 kernel and XFCE 4.12 I would still go for the 3.19 kernel I believe it adds a lot of uh, functionality so those are your Ubuntu flavors now there is also a Debian flavor uh, it's called X8 Debian, and 
you can get that into flavors also. You can get X8 Debian or Switch KWIN X8. Now, this is uh, 3.16 kernel, 4.12 XFCE, compatible EFI. It's based on Debian Jesse 8.1 stable. So, I've had this distribution on my desktop since it came out. Now, just a couple of, I'm gonna do a review on the uh, 3.19 kernel, <clears throat> but as you can see, I've got it fully set up. It, I've got all of my normal uh, system tray utilities going. There is a side panel here. It's very unique. You've got your desktops, Ranger, which is a file manager, uh, basically as an overlay on your screen. You've got a, a dual terminal. You've got Voyager Music, music player. That's a uh, base. It's called Pulse. It's kind of like a visual visualizer for uh, your music frequencies. Cody. This is all built in, by the way. Uh, you've got an EQ. Now, Box is a configuration for Voyager. It's unique to Voyager. As you can see, logos, conkey control, plank control, search. Uh, this is basically a reparation, which is kind of like a uh, fix. Um, then you've got a security audit and smartphone tablet. And then this is various um, aspects of your system. So you've got system, netstat, non-free programs, activity, uh, not sure what this one is, and then Wi-Fi. So you've got lots of information. Right now it's loading the uh, WLAN 0 interface. If I click on non-free, it shows me my non-free programs, network statistics, my system, activity. It's got everything you could possibly possibly need to know built into that side panel. And let's see, that's a terminal also. You can raise and lower your icons. Now this is called personal workspace. When you click on that in the top right, you get your little sticky notes, your calendar. So you can tailor this to, to a particular user and back to the desktop. Now, on the left, we have, of course, the XFCE menu. And that's like a, that's slings cold. It's kind of like a uh, application listing, broken down by category. And I've got Firefox and OBS running. The 
there is a terminal for you at a just so with a click of the down arrow you've got synapse built into the search icon you've got a backup icon this is a radio uh, internet radio that comes out of the box also everything else here I pretty much added now I added synapse but of course you don't need it because you have it built in battery levels email clock weather and that's to log out and so as you can see it is a full featured distribution it's wonderful absolutely wonderful Ubuntu based you've got several flavors to pick from I am going to uh, pause the video and download the newest version and I will run through that with you so don't go away guys I'll be right back and welcome back guys <clears throat> as I mentioned I uh, installed the latest Voyager X2 uh, it has the 3.19 kernel I ran the updates and now I am uh, getting ready to and I installed OBS studio in order to make this video and right now uh, if you look in your home folder after the install you'll have a little file that says Ubuntu after install when you double click that this is the menu that you get now uh, you can see that there are lots of uh, additional programs that you can re that you can install <clears throat> and I'm not going to do any of that right now but it is available and makes it easy for you uh, to uh, modify the system uh, whichever way you choose so I'm going to cancel out of this and I'm going to close this out now I will show you the the uh, XFCE menu um, just to go over some of the software that's available <clears throat> um, for accessories caffeine does come out of the box uh, and as you can see synapse uh, lots of things that you normally have to go after and install are included in the install education games uh, steam and play on Linux are not included but they are installable and they do function fine uh, graphics you have GIMP and GThumb uh, internet you do have Firefox pigeon birdie for your Twitter account multimedia I, as I said I installed OBS but everything else that you see here um, was installed out of the box including Kodi Media Center uh, which is nice uh, LibreOffice is your office suite uh, you've got all the usual settings <clears throat> and system uh, just the usuals nothing synaptic is included terminator is your terminal uh, if I go to settings you'll see that there are a large variety of settings available and let's expand that just so we can see the extent of the <coughs> settings application so you've got almost every aspect just about every aspect of the operating system is configurable if I go into appearance you've got a lot of themes that are installed right out of the box <clears throat> and if I go to desktop you can see that there are a ton of uh, wallpaper options now as I said before they are a little bit different than what you might be used to this is a European distribution uh, but nevertheless <clears throat> they do have some nice 
uh, wallpapers included out of the box. And as you can see, there is no shortage of wallpapers available. Uh, one of the ones that I happen to like is back at the beginning. One of my favorites is just this blue scene. Very, very nice. Okay, so that is it for uh, <clears throat> the new version. I went through most of the uh, toolbar options with you at the, at the beginning of the video. And so uh, you should uh, have a pretty good feel for that. Uh, as I go against the right side of the screen, you'll see that panel pop out. And you can make it hide or you can leave it visible. You've got two conkeys. One in the lower right shows the desktop that you're on. And the one in the lower left has the time, date, memory usage, hard drive usage, and CPU usage. So it's got just about everything that you would need. Again, I highly recommend it. Um, there'll be another update in May, but until then I would uh, recommend if you want an Ubuntu base, go after the X2. And if you, they do have a Debian distribution also. So that is it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and I will see you soon. Take care.